Good morning. Good morning, Bridge Street Labs. Let's go, Beast. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Happy Monday. The SP500 pulled back extremely harshly last week after it failed to break above 4550 to 4600 resistance. You can see this level was a major resistance back from early and mid-2022, where the market double-topped and continued lower at this level. With the nature of the weekly candle being a bearish engulfing candle, I would expect the downtrend to continue over the next couple of weeks until some sort of bottoming structure is put in at support. The market is currently sitting right on 4,500 support, so any move below 4,500 should lead to 4450-4400-4350-4300 in the future. 4300 would be the level I am looking for the market to hit in the future, and any bottoming pattern at this level would actually be so incredible bullish due to the nature of that level. If the market does hold on to 4,500 this week for whatever reason, look for a move higher to retest the highs of trend at 4550 to 4600 in the future. Dow Jones Industrial Average The Dow Jones found some resistance last week at 35,500, which is a massive level of resistance going back from the beginning of 2022, as well. With the rejection of 35,500, there really isn't any support here except for psychological levels at 35,250-35,000-34750 until you get down to major supports at 34,250-34,500. to I would expect the Dow to retest 34,250-34,500 to in the future to prove to the market that it has broken above this level on the macro time frame, and is now holding it as support. If that were to happen, that would be so incredibly bullish it wouldn't even be funny. If the Dow can somehow recover this week on a bounce-off support and break over 35,500, look for targets of 36,000-36500-37,000 in the future as well. Dollar DXY, US Dollar Index The US Dollar managed to move back above 101 to 102 dollars resistance, now support, last week, which is a strong sign that the bears could be getting exhausted here with the failure to go lower. If the dollar can continue to hold on to 101 to 102 dollar support, look for the dollar to move higher to targets of dollar 104 slash dollar 106 in the future. Any move above 106 dollars and the US dollar will enter a micro uptrend, and targets would be dollar 108 slash dollar 110. If the dollar cannot hold on to 101 to 102 dollar support going forward, look for a retest of 100 dollar support. Any move below $100 and targets would be $98-$96 and potentially lower. Volatility Index The VIX broke over $14 resistance last week, which ended up shooting the VIX higher last week up to $18 resistance essentially. Any move above $18 and the VIX has the potential to hit targets of $20-$22.50-$25-$27.50-$30 in the future. If the VIX cannot break over $18 going forward, look for the VIX to move down to supports below at $16-$14. If the VIX can hold these levels, then the VIX could potentially put in a new uptrend here. If the VIX cannot break over $18 and loses $14 support, this would call for much lower prices of $12-$10-$8 in the future for the VIX as well. Spot Gold if 1880 to 1900 support cannot hold going forward, look for gold to move lower down to targets of 1850-1800 in the future. As long as 1800 remains the last higher low on gold, the market will remain in a bullish uptrend for the foreseeable future. If gold can set a higher low compared to 1880 to 1900 and break over 2000, that would be incredibly bullish and gold would move higher to targets of 2025-2050-2075 in the future to test all-time highs.